So I had a question come in the other day about our eave struts. And this is typically what an eave strut would be. An eave strut is normally made out of thicker steel, which can be sloped uh, with the slope of the roof, giving you an, a nailable or screwable surface, obviously, in this case, uh, mainly up here at the top. We don't use an eave strut because number one, it's hard to order. It takes a little bit of time to get the exact pitch. And this is a 612 pitch and they don't come in that kind of a standard size. So you'd have to have something special made. But so we use a standard purling for this. The reason is because we're creating uh, this out here with our fascia and we have some base angle that we add as well to create the slope. Uh, and you can see the attachment points that we use there. For our eave purlin, what we're focused on with this is mainly providing a flat surface that our wall system can come up to and attach to. Now this wall is not relevant to what we normally do on living quarters. Uh, so we have standard purlins here because this is in the shop, but I did want to show you how these work. Additionally, we add some bracing that we do, which is some gussets that come in at a diagonal point, which give us all the strength we need for this to make sure that it has a lot of uh, durability and strength for our main wall. So that's how we're handling that for those that are interested in steel framing methods with the hybrid steel frame.